So let me show you how to varnish a painting. It's very simple to do. I've got a painting which has been dry for a couple months now, and it's grown nice and flat, and I'm going to put a gloss varnish on it. I prefer the gloss varnish because your blacks end up being um, a good bit darker if you use a gloss varnish instead of a matte varnish. So uh, what I do is just lay it flat and just pour and then work from one side to another. And this is just a hog's hair bristle brush. It's actually an inexpensive brush. You don't need an expensive brush, just a big one that doesn't shed too many hairs. And the first thing I do is I just try to get the canvas covered. I've probably put a little bit too, this on a little bit too heavy, but that's okay. Is just get the canvas covered with wet varnish. And then once I've done that, I can come back and thin it out and take my brush strokes out and all the rest. But for now, I'm just going to see if I can wet the entire surface. And I'm moving from left to right. If this was a very large painting, then you would finish this end and get it smooth and then move down and then work the next strip into that one, work the next strip and then just until you've covered your whole painting. But that's only for a really large, large painting. Watch your brush hairs, pull them out as you see them. But this varnish gets sticky pretty quick. So, and I've got enough just to go all the way across. Um, this varnish is gets sticky pretty quick, so you've got to move fast. And you'll see a lot of bubbles form in the varnish as you're working. Don't worry about that one bit. Those will all disappear after it's had enough time to settle. Just a few minutes. <clears throat> so I'm just going to finish now. I've got the whole surface covered, and I'm just working from one end to another, and I'm taking my brush and tilting it so that I get the water pusher line on this side and just keep working all the way to the edge and then I'm done. Now I'm going to leave it sitting like this flat for about say 10 or 15 minutes, maybe, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes at the most and I'm leaving it flat so that it doesn't start to run because I've put it on here pretty thick and I like it pretty thick. I don't want it so thick that it pools up. That's too thick. But I want to put it on as thick as I can without it pooling up. And you don't have to get right close to the point where it pools up. When I say thick as I can, I just mean I like to really put it on liberally so I get a nice smooth surface. And I'm just picking out brush hairs. Okay. So it's not so thick that it's going to pull up. I'll give it one more stroke. And then I'm just going to walk away and let this sit here flat for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then when, I'm done, when, it's, been, when it's been 15 or 20 minutes, then I'm going to put it up vertically on my easel. And by then, it uh, will have gotten thick enough that it won't run. And that's all there is to it. Now let me show you. I, I've got this jar here. If I get too much then I can use this to get the extra varnish out of my brush, 